Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear, and we're making homemade mac and cheese. Now, one of the tricks to doing this while you're backpacking is rehydrating the noodles. So about two hours before you're going to uh, prepare this meal, soak the noodles in water. Uh, you can see on the left-hand side, this is a rehydrated noodle. On the right-hand side is a dry noodle. The basic ingredients for two people, it's four ounces of macaroni, four ounces of cheese, a cup of milk, and a bunch of spices. Now, the complete recipe is concluded at the end of this video. Now, one of the advantages of making, it, making uh, mac and cheese is calories. So a mountain house freeze-dried uh, mac and cheese contains 310 calories, while a homemade version is 800 calories. And you really need a lot of calories when you're backpacking, so this is a great way to go. Again, also, because you, can, you bring your own cheese, you can use cheddar, you can use um, a gruyere, you can use, in this case, Jarlsberg. Total weight of this is 10.4 ounces dry. So for um, cooking the mac and cheese, I'm using a Bobcat Covia. Uh, it's got great flame control. Uh, one of the things, don't, don't do what I did, which is add the powders to the boiling liquid, add the powders, dry ingredients to the cold water, and whisk that in, and then heat it up. It'll produce less lumps. Once it starts to boil, you really want to constantly stir it. Stir it until it thickens. Then you can slowly add the cheese, and again, stir this, and it'll get into a thick, nice, nice sauce. Once it's all uniform and melted, then you can add the noodles. Add them slowly one at a time. Now the noodles will bring the temperature down, so you want to turn the heat up just a little bit because it will, it will bring the whole mixture temperature down. You want to stir this in and thoroughly coat the noodles. The key to this dish is once everything is hot and mixed together, uh, turn the heat off. Uh, put a, a flat hat hat on top of it and just let it set for about five or ten minutes. You can see that after letting this sit for about five to ten minutes, everything is thickened up and the noodles have absorbed the sauce. You can add all kinds of things to this dish from bacon to spam to garlic to bell peppers. Come visit us at www.flatcatgear.com.